In this video, we will show you how to create automations, which can be useful for having your smart device perform actions when certain conditions are met. Start by selecting the smart icon at the bottom and the plus icon under automation. For our first example, we will use a simple when device status changes option. Next, we will select our bedroom light with the switch on function. Once we have selected that, we will now choose the run the device option and we will choose another device to perform an action, such as downlight 10, switching off. Once that's done, tap next in the top right, and we'll add another device to our task list by tapping plus, and then selecting run the device again. We will now choose another downlight, and select that also to switch off. We have now set up two lights to turn off when our bedroom light turns on. This is handy if you're going to bed for the night and you want all your lights to turn off when your bedroom light has turned off. We will now give our automation a name. Once that's done, tap save and then save again. You will be prompted if you'd like to start using your automation. Select yes. Our automation is now set up so that whenever we turn on our bedroom light, our living room lights will turn off. For our next example, we'll be using our smart solar powered water controller. After tapping the plus icon under automation, we'll set our condition as when weather changes and then select the weather as sunny. Next, tap the current city option so that we can set up our address for accurate weather data. If your address hasn't been detected automatically, please tap the icon in the bottom right hand corner to set up your current location and then tap OK. Proceed by selecting Next in the top right hand corner and then select Run the device. Next, select your water controller from the device list. Then select your function as Switch On. Tap Save and then select Percentage Control as the amount of water you would like used. Tap Save again and then tap Next in the top right hand corner. On the next screen, scroll to the bottom and select effective period. We'll now choose a custom time of when we'd like our water controller to turn on. Here you can see we have selected 9am to 9.30am. Under the repeat option you can select which days you'd like to perform this action, however ours will be left at every day. Finally tap save to finish. We have now set up our water controller to turn on from 9am to 9.30am when it's a sunny day. Now that we have set up an automation to turn our water controller on, we'll need to set up another one to turn it off. Tap the plus icon under automation and then select schedule. We will set our time as 9.31 a.m. every day. Select next in the top right hand corner and then select run the device. We will choose our water controller again and then this time we will set the switch to the off position. Tap next in the top right hand corner and then finally the save button. We have now finished setting up two different types of automations. Please experiment with these options as there are many more to choose from. 